So in our last video, we discussed how we can update our template dynamically. In this video, we are going to discuss some handle events, handle enter, handle left, handle right, up, down, uh, backspace, and a lot of other handle events that we are having in Lightning JS. Okay. Why we are discussing this? Because if you see for an OTT application or for a Android TV application for a set box application, you will be using a remote, right? Which will have all of these will not connect mouse because we are in our laptop and in our desktop we are we are using mouse or in our android phones or tablets we are using touch right but in, in the tv in our setup box we are having remote which will have some keys right and we need those keys to trigger some event so that we can do some programming or we can write some logics so that we can handle uh, those events properly today we are going to discuss couple of event methods that are provided by lightning Let's start. So this was our last application which we have created, which is having a child. Okay, so last time I did one mistake, which was C small layer I have given, uh, due to which if I just save this, it will not render uh, this child component and I'll not be able to see anything on my screen. I'll not see a poster because the child or this property should have a capital letter. Okay, so this should this should start with a capital C. Okay, so in the last video as well, we discussed that we are going to optimize uh, the way we build our application. Currently, it is very slow, but it should be a little bit fast. Okay, so let me go here. Let me refresh this page. You see, there is nothing. I cannot see anything, right? Because of this, a small c. Okay, so now if we have to make our build uh, fast, so we'll be creating one env file and we'll give it as a dot env and dot env so these are environments okay some which we are going to add here if you go in lightning JS, we are having something called environment variables here that are given okay so we can create couple of those but for now we are going to use build source pen okay we are we are going to use the inline which will have a which will build our application bit fast okay inline second one now we are going to so this is a default okay and second one we are going to use a es build that is lng bundler we are having a roll up and es build we are going to use es build okay so these are the two environment variables that we have uh, created here and we have assigned some values okay let me now save this and you should be able to see a difference that it is building compared comparatively the previous one bit fast this time let me go here okay uh, let me refresh this page and this time i should be able to see an image here okay so now let's come back here okay so we'll start with couple of handle events so in lightning we are we'll start all the properties with this underscore which we call it as a uh, private properties or private methods but we'll call a uh, name as a handle so currently we are having lot of this like handle back handle back release handle down release enter exit focus lot of things right we are interested in handle right for now okay so now let's say if i press this handle right from my keyboard i should be able to see a different image in this child component currently in this this is the image which is rendering i want this image to be changed with a different image that i'm having inside image folder that is image 2 how i can do that i can simply use the same but this time i'm not going to use patch because i am already patching this right i have already patched my child and as i said last video as well we will avoid patch as much as we can okay so this time now if i have to change the source just src of this child component or child property how i can do that for doing that i i i am referencing to this poster let's say i have to reference this child as well how i can do that i will write here dot child this will refer to this child object now i can simply do src equals to and i have to change this i have to give a path right so i'll not use this one where we are having a utils which is given by lightning we'll be using that lightning sdk utils method utils dot asset 
So all of our all of all of our static assets are stored inside a static folder. It is up to you. You can rename it. But if you rename it, as I said in the first video, we are going to uh, having this path. You need to change this path as well. Okay. So we are using this utils dot asset here. You just uh, type images slash we are having image to dot jpg. And let me save this. So on handle right, I should be able to see my image too correct let's see okay let's uh, go here if i refresh page there is no difference but if i press handle right this image has changed i pressed handle right and this image has changed to a different image okay this is just a one handle event if you go to lightning documentation here we are having lot of handle events you can see state creation live demo a lot of things they have given in the handle key so component key handlers okay so they are having this capture key as well a uh, lot of things that's uh, we'll be discussing handle home you can create by yourself as well lot of things okay so now if you go to this key handling we are having capture key capture and handle key okay handle key name so we are having you can do definitely uh, but these are the by default key mappings handle left right up down enter back or back space and exit to exit the application that is escape button okay here you can see you can create your own key as well you can define the options dot keys and inside the key you can have lot of keys you can map okay so now let me do one more thing so let's say in your remote view you can have a media key you can have different color keys right as well as you can have a, a b c d alphabetical key as well so to handle that we are having a capture key okay we are having a capture key event which will return me this event here and let's just try to log what is coming in this event for now let me save it and let's see if i press any of the key I should be able to capture in this capture key event okay and let's see what it returns in the console log this event object this event will have something called event key so it will have a key name which key we have pressed from our keyboard let me go let me open this console here let me make it a little bit big so you guys can see here let me zoom it a bit here okay let me refresh this page once quickly okay so now if I'm pressing handle up i have pressed handle up you should see i am getting this keyboard event and here i am getting lot of values right and here you can see i am getting a code that is hand arrow up that means i have pressed the arrow up key and here as well you are getting a key that is the same name that is arrow up okay let me press h so i have pressed h and you should be able to see i am getting code as a key h but here directly i am getting a key that is h so this is the way you can use it okay but let me uh, refresh this and let me just hold on i am holding on this g key and i'm getting lot of this events right continuously they are firing so this is not the ideal behavior that i want right let's say if user accidentally user don't want but accidentally user is holding a particular key, key which is triggering that particular event lot of time right how we can avoid that so to avoid that we are having a release event so you can see we are having a capture capture key release so we are going to use this let me save this quickly okay i think i am not having this file inside this uh, folder let me do it inside this let me move this so that it can come up here that's why i think it was not having an impact uh, in our project that we are compiling or building so let's say i am just building it again and i should be able to see that it, it should build a bit fast as compared to other one okay let me go ahead and here let me refresh the page now again and let me hold the key i'm holding the g key but it is not triggering anything right i am holding the g key currently and it has not triggered anything if i release it then i saw there is one only one keyboard event that is this one and i'm having a key g so as soon as i release the key then only this event will trigger right i think this is the way we want our application to to work or to perform 
So this is just a one simple example. You can also play around. You can have this capture key release. You can add release here as well. That will work fine here. Not any issue. Okay. So you can have handle right release, handle left release, handle enter release. Everything you can have a release. As soon as the user releases that key or that event will trigger. So this was all about the handle events. How we can handle keys in our remote. So we'll discuss in the coming videos some more features of Lightning Chase.